बीने के होना का कहते गेले पाप दूर जा मोन धोयाल प्रभु के बाको तापा गंगारा पराश हो शते पशन पवित्र करो ए तो मारू गंगार पर शैले पश्चात पाव दर्शन पवित्र करो ए तो मारू ने अप राधे तारे हरि नाम साने अप राधे नाही को गोविंद को हे नमा वैष्णव परा जन्मे कोरी आशा चरण रधूली नरो तमे को रो दोया अपना Jai Vishnu Jai 
In the bhajan we just sung, Ebaro Kuruna Koro. One time, one wonderful Vaishnava, Srila Bhakti Kamal Govinda Maharaj, he asked us, Why is it said that Krishna always resides within the hearts of the Vaishnavas? Tamara Hridaya Sada Govinda Vishram. Krishna is always resting in the hearts of the Vaishnavas. He said, Everyone is always pressuring the Lord. Oh God, please give me money. Give me health. Give me wealth. I want a beautiful wife. I want a beautiful husband. I want nice children. I want a house. I want a car. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Serve me. Oh, Krishna, please fulfill my desires. Krishna covers his ears and he needs a place to go, a place to rest, any place he can go. Where can he go? Everyone is always pressuring him. So he's looking for a quiet and peaceful place. Oh, where is that? That is within the heart of the Vaishnava, the pure devotee. He has no material desires. He has no needs or wants. He's completely satisfied. And because of that, Krishna says, oh, his heart is a very peaceful place to rest. So he goes and resides within the hearts of the Vaishnavas. But more than that, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita that he reciprocates according to the way one approaches him. So people are approaching him for so many things. Give me this, give me that. Okay, you can have it, you can have it, you can have it. But the Vaishnav doesn't want anything except to please the Lord, to serve the Lord, to satisfy the Lord's desires. And so Krishna feels very affectionately inclined toward the Vaishnavas because they're affectionately inclined toward him. He says, I am partial to no one. And yet he appears to be partial. Why? Because the Vaishnavas are giving him so much love and affection. So he's responding accordingly. And therefore, because they are completely controlled by Krishna's love, he's completely controlled by their love and affection. So we take shelter of those within whose heart Krishna is residing. If we want to come close to Krishna, we should know where Krishna is residing fully. He says, I am not at all independent. Aham bhakta paradhina. I'm not independent. I'm actually under the control of the love of my devotees. So if you want to somehow come close to Krishna, then the secret is to somehow come close to a pure devotee, a true Vaishnava. Wherever that pure devotee is, Krishna is fully manifest. Of course, Krishna is present within the hearts of everyone as Paramatma. But our Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he said, will you be satisfied if I told you that only Paramatma is there? Or are you attracted to Krishna in Vrindavan? Do you want to only communicate with Paramatma or do you want to love Krishna, have a loving relationship with Krishna? How can we find Krishna? Where is he? Krishna says, Sadhava Hridayam Mahyam, Sadhava Hridayam Tvaham. The sadhus are in my heart and I am in their heart. I don't know anyone but my devotees and they don't know anyone but me. So this is very important. Narutam Das Thakur is praying. E baro kuruna koro Vaishnava Goshai. O Vaishnava. Vaishnava means devotee of Vishnu or Krishna. Please give me just one drop of mercy. But he's saying right now, I need your mercy. Without your mercy, without the mercy of the Vaishnavas, what hope do we have? Really? What hope do we have? We've been wandering in this sangsar through 8,400,000 different species of life from universe to universe to universe, cycling in sangsar since time without beginning, trying to figure it out on our own. Until now, 
Until this point here, we have not succeeded in attaining perfection on our own. Otherwise, we wouldn't still be here, which is proof that we require help from outside of ourselves. And Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, it is said, Maya Mugda Jiva Nahi Svata Krishna Gyan. That the Jiva, by his own power, cannot free himself from Maya. We don't have the capacity to free ourselves from Maya. Our Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, he said that if one is bound behind their back, if their arms and legs are tied, they cannot free themselves. And if another person is also bound like this, they cannot free themselves and they also cannot free you. Right? If two people are bound the same way, then they cannot help each other. They can give so many ideas, but they're bound. Only one who is truly liberated, who is not bound, they can free us, they can untie us, and they can liberate us from our condition. Who is free? Sri Guru and the pure Vaishnava, the sadhu. Sometimes we hear this word sadhu and we think, yes, everyone is a devotee. But if I see, oh, she is bound, and I'm also bound, then she can only help me so much. And I can only help her so much. We can help by sharing the information that we have been given. But we cannot truly unbind ourselves from the well of material existence. Who can unbind us? Only that person who is truly free. Who is truly free? That person who can control their urge to speak. Bacho Vegam. Means they only speak about topics of Krishna. That person who can control the urges of their mind. Their minds aren't running everywhere here and there searching for the enjoyment of this material world. It's easy to pretend. Our Gurudev has told one example. You may see so many amazing yogis. And they look amazing because they're able to sit still for a long time. But what is going on in their heart? We don't know that. Just like a crane. You know this bird that stands in the water on one leg? Oh, very good yogi. Very, very still for a long time. He keeps his eyes down. He looks like he's focusing on his nose. Standing on one leg. Very peaceful. Very focused and concentrated. But he's not concentrating on God. He's not concentrating on Krishna. He's looking for any big fish. And when the big fish comes, like this, immediately he takes that. He's only thinking when that material desire will present itself, then I will take that. So just because someone looks like a yogi or a Vaishnava, it doesn't mean that they are really, truly that. So, so many instructions have been given in scripture. What are the qualities of a real guru? What are the qualities of a real Vaishnava? That person who is sadhu, it means that they are in touch with sat, the absolute truth, 24 hours a day. Without cessation. They completely control their mind because their mind is always focused on Krishna, absorbed in Krishna. They completely control the urges of anger. They're not upset when someone calls them, hey, who are you? What do you think you're doing? This and that. Hey, who are you to speak to me like that? <laughs> like this, and they become very offended. How dare you talk to me like this? They don't become offended like this. Only for the sake of Krishna and his pure devotees, they may exhibit anger, but this anger is out of service. So it is anger controlled in the service of the Lord. Jifva vegam udara upashta vegam. They're able to control the urges of the tongue. They're not always running to taste the wonderful foodstuffs of this world, like most of us. Oh, right now there's lasagna and... What is that? Oh, gelato in the back of the temple. Everyone would be waiting just for that. But the pure devotee is completely controlled because he doesn't have this mood to enjoy for himself. Only sees everything in terms of how it can be pleasing to Krishna. So when he takes prasad, he is not eating, as we spoke yesterday. Our Gurudev said, I have never eaten anything. I only serve Mahaprasad. This is called Prashad Seva. Not always trying to fill the belly, not searching how will I keep my belly satisfied. They're completely dependent upon the mercy of Krishna. And because they're able to control all of their senses, they have no 
lust, no attraction for anything of this material world, no attraction to satisfy their material senses through any of the senses, only how to use everything in the service of Krishna. This person is qualified to make disciples all over the world. So Narutam Das Thakur is saying here, Ebaro Kuruna Koro Vaishnava Goshai. All pure Vaishnavas, they are Guru, either Diksha Guru or Shiksha Guru, the pure Vaishnava. He's saying, please give me your mercy now. By the mercy of the Vaishnavas, we can become purified. And even though, like for us, if we go and bathe in the Ganga, we can remove our sins. But the pure Vaishnava, they are known as Tirtha. Someone told me the other day when Srila Gurudev met Srila Bhakti Balab Tirtha Maharaj. Gurudev would glorify him. Oh, just by your darshan, all sins run very far away. This is the meaning of Tirtha. And there's one verse in Srimad Bhagavatam that says, Tirti Kuvar Vanti Tirthani. Maybe we go to the holy places and we leave our sins there. We will bathe in the Ganga and leave our sins. We will go to the holy dham and bathe in all of the different holy places and leave our sins there. But the dham begins to absorb those sins by the presence of the pure devotees of Krishna when they go to those places. All sins run very far away immediately. They evaporate those sins. So therefore they are said to be the holy places themselves. Wherever the pure devotee is, Krishna is present there, in their heart. We can go to Vrindavan, but in Vrindavan we can be a million miles away by mind. Or if Srila Gurudev were sitting right here, right now, he will say, come with me to Vrindavan. And your mind and heart can be actually saturated in Vrindavan. Wherever the pure devotee is, that place is none different from Vrindavan. Once upon a time, I was massaging my Gurudev, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. It was the first time I had received an opportunity to massage him. And my father had said, oh, Kishore Mohan, he's very good at massage. So they let me massage him. And that time, it was myself and Pundarik Prabhu. And we were massaging Gurudev. Whenever he would receive massage, he would be lying there with his eyes closed. Unlike us, if I were to receive massage, I'd be like, oh, yeah, 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 harder here, yes. I can. But Gurudev wasn't like that. He was chanting, Krishna, Kirtan, Nagana, Nartana, Panaro, Prema, Amritam, Bonini, Mande, Rupa, Sanatana, Raguja, Sri Jiva, Gopalako, Namami, Nanda, Nanda, Nam, Namami, Nanda, Nanda, Nam, Kadakarishya, Sihamam. One after another, Ashtakams, while he would receive massage. He was completely absorbed elsewhere. And the devotees would do their seva. So this is my first time. And I was speaking with Pundarik Prabhu over Srila Gurudev as he's absorbed in chanting Ashtakams. And I wasn't speaking about Hari, Guru, or Vaishnavas. I was just talking about whatever. And after a couple of minutes, Srila Gurudev opened his eyes and he looked at me and he said, can you ever be quiet? <laughs> and I, I zipped my mouth and I kept massaging, but my mind was running a million miles an hour to everything. And it just so happened that this time we were in Malaysia, it was after Kartik 1996. The very last day of Kartik, Srila Gurudev married us together by Vedic marriage. And right after Kartik, I sent her back to America and I went to Malaysia to work. So as I'm massaging Srila Gurudev, at one point, I began to miss my wife because my mind was still running a million miles an hour. New wife, right? No, Just, we were married two years. We were married for two years, but our Vedic marriage, right? So I sent her to America and I began to miss my wife. Suddenly Gurudev opened his eyes and he said, your wife is calling. And I said, what? And he said, your wife is calling. And I said, I don't understand. What do you mean? And he rolled his eyes and he said, just now she came in your mind. And I said, yes, Gurudev. And then he went like this. And he closed his eyes and continued chanting his mantras. And I was thinking, how do I stop my mind from running? How do I stop my mind from running? From that moment on, whenever I would give him massage, I would only chant Mahamantra 
under my breath, and then he didn't complain again. The point I'm making is, just because someone is physically there, either in the Dham or even with the pure devotee, even physically in contact with the pure devotee, it doesn't mean that we are truly associating. Association happens by heart, by mood, by taking the instructions of the pure devotee into our heart and then applying those instructions in our life. I can be physically in contact with the pure devotee, but my mind can be thousands of miles away with my wife. So this is not real association. And he gave me that lesson very powerfully. Our Gurudev would say all the time, don't be like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are also taking association. No, they're very close. They're always trying to come when you're sleeping and you can't sleep you're going like this. We shouldn't be like this kind of annoying, disturbing association. Gurudev said, we should not be like mosquitoes coming and trying to take a little bit of blood and creating a disturbance. How should we associate with the sadhus? Tad vidhi pranipatena pari prashnena sevaya upadekshyantite jnanam jnani nastatva darshinaha We should approach them in a submissive mood. Oh, you have Krishna within your heart. And because you have Krishna, you can give Krishna. Only that person who has Krishna can give Krishna. You have Krishna within your heart. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I'm very foolish. For millions and trillions and unlimited lifetimes until now, I have failed on my own. Trying to attain peace and perfection by my own power. I have no strength on my own. Ekakiya mar nahi pai bal. On my own, I have no strength. So I require your mercy. Please be merciful to me. I'm submitting myself to you. Pranipat. Now, please tell me, what should I do? And Gurudev said, when Guru and Vaishnavas give instruction, we shouldn't let it in one ear and let it go out the other. This is a sign of foolishness. The instruction goes in, comes out the other ear. He said, we should take it deep into our heart. And then apply that. That means sevaya. If we want to receive that true gift, the gift that Guru and Vaishnavas want to give us, then we must to physically serve. As I told you before, if you're doing physical massage, but your mind is a million miles away, this is not seva. Real seva means to take that mood of Gurudev in the heart of the Vaishnav deep in the heart, and then to try to apply it in our life. How can I move forward? And how can I please this person? How can I please my Gurudev? Not just by remaining on the external. Gurudev wanted us to dive deep, always to go deeper. He didn't want us to remain in the same level. In fact, he said, before I leave this world, I want that all of my disciples attain Guru Nishta. He had this desire for us, firm conviction in the words of the spiritual master. So we can see how weak we are. Gurudev said that years before he left. And still, how many years has it been since he physically departed our vision? How many years? Since 2010? He said it many years before he left. So maybe 15 years has gone by and still I do not have Guru Nishta. Oh, this shows how weak I really am. I require help. O oh, Gurudev, O oh Vaishnavas, please be merciful to me. Please help me. I am so weak on my own. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada, he says that we must be in Sadhu Sangha at every moment. This doesn't mean physically in the Sadhu Sangha. It means if we have the opportunity to be physically, we should be there. If we don't, then we should take shelter of Shastra. We should take shelter of the instructions of Sri Guru to be in the association of devotees who are helping us to move forward in bhakti. He said, if you are not in sadhu sangha at every moment, then even the jewel that you have received, we've all received so many jewels from Guru and Vaishnavas. But if we're not always in sadhu sangha by mind and heart, then what will happen? He said, you can lose that which you have already received very easily. So to be in sadhu sangha at every moment means we should always be reminding each other as well. How is your bhajan? What have you done for Krishna today? Oh, I've noticed you're not wearing tilak. 
I mean, when we were little, they used to go from door to door and do tea lock checks. <laughs> oh, where's your tea lock, Prabhu? <clears throat> like this, to help each other. Nowadays, if someone says, hey, where's your tea lock? Hey, who do you think you are? I do it by water. I do it by mind every day. How dare you challenge me? We have this kind of mood. But I read from Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharati Maharaj today. He said in the past, it wasn't like that. If someone asks nicely, oh, I've noticed you, you said something or you made some mistake and I, I don't want people to criticize you, so I'm just bringing it to your attention. They will say, oh, thank you so much. I will make the adjustment immediately. This kind of mood of humility. But nowadays, with Kali Yuga progressing, everyone's like, oh, how dare you challenge me? Who do you think you are? How dare you question me? But to have the very submissive, humble mood in front of Vaishnavas, this humble mood comes from the Vaishnavas, and by their mercy, we will have it. By their inspiration, we will desire it, and by their mercy, we can get it. So Vaishnava Seva and Vaishnava Association for us is everything. Because by the association of the Vaishnavas, we will desire to serve Krishna. It is the birthplace of bhakti. It is also the most essential thing even after the attainment of Krishna Prem, the association of the pure devotees of the Lord. Krishna Bhakti Janma Mool Hoi Sadhu Sangha Krishna Prema Janme Tenho Puna Mukya Anga. The birthplace of Krishna Bhakti is Sadhu Sangha, the association of the pure devotees of the Lord. And even after the attainment of perfection, which is Krishna Prem, still the association of the pure devotees is the most essential thing. So we should never, ever neglect the opportunity for association with the pure devotees of the Lord. And I'm going to end with one small little story that Srila Gurudev told. We had just arrived at his new temple in Govardhan. And we were so excited. Oh, we have a new temple. Krishna Das led the most amazing kirtan. It was singing so high, we had never heard him sing so high before. It felt like the roof was bouncing. If you've been to this Govardhan temple, it was amazing. At that time, it was only cement. There was no paint yet, no decorations, but still we were so happy. After this kirtan, we were so excited, we all crowded around Srila Gurudev and he began to speak. He said, don't be attached to these walls. One day they will crumble. He said, even one day, Takurji will also disappear. You should only be attached to that place where Harikatha is being spoken by the pure devotee. And when I heard that, it went deep. I thought, wow, what an amazing, essential truth. This thing, he didn't say in my group, in this group, in any institution. Where is the pure devotee? The root qualification for Krishna Bhakti is the intense desire to have it. And wherever it can be had, wherever, one must purchase that without delay by any means possible. This is the root qualification for Krishna Bhakti Rasa. So Srila Gurudev Ki Jai, Sri Vaishnava Thakur Ki Jai. Goranga Bolite Have Pulaka Sharir. Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adveta Gadadha Shri Vasadi Sobra Bhakta Vrindanya Shri
Shari 
questions since he spoke? Does anybody want to ask anything? Sounds like a big no to me. <laughs> okay, next person. Loudly. People meaning devotees or people meaning general people? Devotees find it confronting that you're following Ekadashi or that you're following the process of bhakti. You have to think, do I want to follow the opinions of the people or the opinions of Hari Guru and Vaishnava? Who are we to please? Our Gurudev once said, don't try to please everyone. It is quite impossible. He said, even one child, you cannot <laughs> please. It's very difficult. He said, but you should try to please Guru. I know what you're saying because also within my own experience and in our um, progression in bhakti, we find that different friends have given us up, devotees because we follow in a particular way. But the fact is, is that this process of bhakti is like a razor's edge. As you move forward on this path, it becomes more and more and more refined. Even though the path of bhakti is so broad, all accommodating, but yet when you follow the process properly, what do we hear? Atyahara prayasascha. This Atyahara and Jana Sangha. This come together so easily for us because on the path of bhakti, sometimes you don't even have to think about it. Atyahara, you have to give up those things which are not necessarily good for you. 
what, what can you do? Automatically, if you want to make progress, it means if you're walking ahead, so many things are left behind. This also includes association. What was once good for me may no longer be good for me. And that may be a hard pill to swallow, actually. And it is. But if devotees aren't helping us to increase the pleasure of the Lord, then what do they want for us to incre increase the pleasure of the people of the world or even some kind of material thing? This is why sadhu sangha is so important, because we become weak on our own. Those devotees that don't follow, they've become somewhat weak. And if we accept their association, it means accept their opinions, accept what they're doing to make them happy. That is association. Moving about in the world, going to work, having to do your dharma in this world isn't necessarily taking association. It means taking their conceptions, taking their moods. This is association, following what they follow. This is why he was saying, don't be like a mosquito, sucking some blood, meaning energy from Gurudev. He's giving, 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 and we're taking, 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 but we don't follow it. So association means that we must accept someone's opinion, actually. So are we going to accept the opinion, not even the opinion, actually? Are we going to accept the truths of Hari Guru and Vaishnava or the opinions of the people of this world? including devotees. They have so many ideas in how we should follow. Some, oh, no, no, we only follow Ikadashi according to Navadweep. If followed according to where he was in the world. So who are we following? Our Gurudev or many others? We can offer pranam to their ideas. Prabhupada, our Gurudev, Srila Gorgovina Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Bhai Bhavpuri Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Balav Tirtha Goswami Maharaj, Bodhayan Maharaj, you name them, uh, Bhakti um, Vedanta Madhav Maharaj, Bhakti Vedanta Ban Maharaj, all follow according to our Gurudev and our Parampara. So what will we do? We must follow our Gurudev. We must follow our line purely. Otherwise, what will happen? We can take so many opinions. Everyone has opinions. Everyone. So we try to stay close to the teachings of our Guru and those who are carrying on those same conceptions. Even our Gurudev would express, I am not giving something new. I am not giving anything different than your Prabhupada. It is the same wine in a new bottle, he would say. Once he said the same bottle. <laughs> it's the same. Yeah. It's exactly. Nothing different. This is Akanda Guru Tattva. They are giving the exact same message, carrying it, living that message. Not just like a parrot. They know the truth. They are Tattva Darshis. They know. So we follow them. And we follow those and take association of those who follow them. If others have opinions, let them have those opinions. Everything actually is perfect. Because there is a subjective evolution of consciousness. And everyone is at whatever level they are meant to be. Everyone is putting their shraddha and their faith where it needs to be for their own progression, for that time and space. And accordingly, as we move forward in the process of bhakti, all of us will become more and more refined. We are not all one. And we are not all going toward those same Vaishnavas even. They may be Vaishnavas. But if their opinions are different from our Guru and our Guru Varg, then we take a step back from that. You are a Vaishnava, you're chanting the holy names, you're doing so much seva, but this opinion is so different from my Gurudev, how he followed, how he lived his life. So I can't follow your advice. I must follow Ikadashi. I must follow the way my Guru followed. I know sometimes even we have lost friends, not because of anything we've said but just because we're following they say oh i don't want to contaminate you or oh you're following we're not so it's better we don't associate okay no problem if that's what you what can we do 
this this path is not one of popularity actually <laughs> or sentimentality if you see how Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur preached uncompromising there was absolutely no compromise you see even Srila Gorgo Vindago Swami Maharaj uncompromising he gave the truth he didn't make any kinds of concessions who are we here for atma and its relationship with guru and krishna if we worry about everyone else and trying not to upset them because we are following the process then they're not really our friends that is the bitter truth they're not our well-wishers they're kripan durjan mm. they're those who are only anxious for their own enjoyment in this world and will exploit us and it's a hard thing to think, but if somebody doesn't want you to please the senses of Krishna, they're not our friends because Jiva is made of that substance, service to Krishna. So it's a difficult thing. It's a hard thing. It may be our family members. But Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur once said, he said, one one Vaishnava asked, "Who should should we be angry at non-devotees?" And first he said, first I should be angry at myself. I should be angry at myself for trying to enjoy Krishna's property, for having so much pride and arrogance and all of these types of things." He said, "The next persons that I should be angry at are my friends and well-wishers of this world, who are trying to draw me away from the service of Krishna to the service of Maya." I should be angry at them and then to the non Vaishnavas. How shocking is that? First look at me, then look at those around me, my so called friends and family. My anger should be there first and foremost from the moment of my birth. Oh, you are such a darling little girl. I'll put pink on you. You're a girl. I'm a girl. My name was Saraswati. Oh, everybody called me Saraswati, and I had blonde hair and blue eyes, and I'm a sweet little girl like this. Oh, you should have toys. You should have all kinds of soft, beautiful things because you're a darling little girl. And all of this is impressing upon me that I am of this world. I am of this substance, and everything should be for my enjoyment. Mm -hmm. It should be soft. It should be sweet. It should be enjoying for me, or I will cry. So we get, we get, we get, and what happens? We become the son of our universe. From the moment of our birth, this begins. Not that a parent shouldn't love their child. It's natural. It's natural, even an animal loves its cubs. But the point being is that we are thinking that we are the sun in our universe and our family members and all of our friends should actually come to give us adoration. And if we don't, oh, you're not really my friend anymore. Oh, my husband, you're not fulfilling my need to be glorified and loved, get out. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> Depending. If they're helping you in Krishna consciousness, then you're very fortunate. If not, Haribo. <laughs> but this is the point, is that we ourselves, we do this to ourselves. We try to make ourselves the enjoyer as well. So we should see, te test ourselves, check our pulse. Where am I? Actually, there was this lecture I was reading of our Gurudev today, he said, generally in this world, people are like Haranyakashipu. Mm. They believe in money. They believe in wealth. They believe in everything in this world. And that's where they put their time. That's where they put their energy and their faith. He said, actually, most everyone in this time is like an Asura. They are like Haranyakashipu. They are demons. They have faith in wealth, in this type of thing. And he said, but those who are dependent on Krishna, those who can accept that Krishna is my maintainer, he said, they, they are like Prahlad. Mm. They are the devotee. He said, so now you can test, which one are you? <laughs> which one are you? Are you like Haranyakashipu? Are you an Asura? Or are you a Bhakta? Do you depend totally on Krishna? So then we take our pulse and have to see, oh, I'm so far from this 
idea that Krishna is my maintainer, my protector. Krishna says, I will preserve what you have and carry what you lack. Do we have this kind of faith? Then you know what we must do? Hold tightly to the feet of our Guru. Hold tightly to the feet of our Guru Parampara. Follow what they have given us. As Srila Gargo Maharaj would say, don't deliberate, don't twist. Don't take the instructions of Guru and make it what we choose it to be. Accept it as it is and then look at myself. This is where I am. Oh my God, Gurudev Kripa Karake, give me your mercy. From that point, we can cry for help. But we must take association of those persons who are at least trying to follow, associating. We defined what association is, taking their moods, taking their conceptions and instructions into our hearts. That is association. So if we accept what others will tell us that is against Hari Guru and Vaishnava, then we are taking association of those who are Kripan Durjan. They are persons that are not worried for my welfare. They are there to exploit me. So although it sounds very harsh and heavy, it's the truth. <laughs> and the truth is always, if we are not liberated at least, it's very harsh. But the moment we hear truth and we resonate with it, even though it feels like a thorn, it feels good. It feels good to finally hear the truth. Our acharyas, they give us the truth uncompromising. And from where we are, we follow. Not that we give everything up, not that we're all monks living in a mat, but from where we are, there we can judge. Check our pulse, oh, I'm so far from my goal. My shraddha is like a newborn baby. Would I just give my newborn baby to anyone on the street? Oh, you take care of it. I'll come back in a couple of days or in a few years. Would you do it even with your bank account? <laughs> Why would we do it with the Atma, with our soul? We should invest it where we know that it will be taken care of, that it is a place where it will be nurtured, where it will grow up healthy and strong, where it will be productive. Productive means that it will one day serve Krishna. This is our goal. And we start now through following the processes that our gurus have given us through following Ikadashi, Janmastami, through chanting our Harinam, performing sadhana. Our Gurudev said, just, he said, what did I, I repeated to you about what he said about sadhana? What Gurudev is saying. Gurudev. Um, that you can never, I'm just going to go to Maharaj. Uh, he was saying that, that you can never do kirtan without shraddha. No, that wasn't it. It was about being a devotee or a guru. Oh, anyway. I, anyway, I just say it. <clears throat> she told me she was quoting from Srila Govinda Maharaj. I think it was Srila Govinda Maharaj. It was, that and, was. And he said that you can never do real kirtan without first hearing shravanam. Because the path of sadhan means that one must have a goal. So shravanam, then kirtanam. This is our path, sadhana. So one must have a goal, and without the goal, without first going through this process of shravanam and kirtanam, you can never attain that goal. So if someone is doing kirtan, but they don't have any source for their mm. hearing, mm. who have they heard from? Who is their guru? Then what will they give? And where is the praman? Where is the evidence? Where is the evidence? What you are telling me to do, where is the evidence? Who spoke it? In which shastra? And if they can't give any, then haribo. Mm. Hare Krishna. My pranam, you're chanting the names of the Lord, but I must follow the path of Hari Guru and Vaishnava. And then we will become strong. We will become strong following Sri Guru. Otherwise, we will be weak and we will follow everything. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone has ideas. Whose will we follow? Will we follow everyone's or will we follow Sri Guru's? One time in this connection, Srila Gurudev said, we should be very careful. How, how refined is our process? When you hear that it is like a razor's edge. A razor's edge, one time uh, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he compared this razor's edge. We hear that bhakti or the spiritual path is like a razor's edge. 
Sometimes it think, we think, oh, this means to walk on a very, very fine line. But he gave the example like if we were in a barber shop and you're getting shaved with a straight razor. He said this word, shuram, it means very sharp. So if for one moment that person who is shaving us becomes distracted, then immediately a cut will come. How careful should we be? How much attention should we give? So he said, we should be very, very careful. It is like a razor's edge. Gurudev said that even if another Mahabhagavat says something slightly different than what your Guru has said, he said, you must have it reconciled immediately. He said, otherwise it will go in like a seed. The seed of doubt will come in. And if you don't reconcile it very quickly, it will turn into a big tree. And that tree will uproot everything. Guru Nishta is the backbone of Bhakti. Imagine if a tree started growing inside of us and just breaks that backbone apart. So we, he said, you must reconcile it immediately. Even if another Mahabhagavat is saying something different from your Guru. What to speak if it's not a Mahabhagavat? So many people, they say opinions are, well, everyone has opinions. They're like noses. Everyone has them. Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, he said, Unlimited people of this world, everyone has an opinion. Whose opinion are you going to follow? Everyone's? If you follow even two people's opinion who are different from each other, it will create bipolar effect. Imagine following hundreds of people's opinions that are different from each other. This will make us completely mad. He said we shouldn't follow everyone's opinion. We should follow the opinion of Krishna. And Krishna's opinion is spoken through the mouth of Sri Guru and Vaishnavas. We follow that opinion. He said, if ever we are asked any question, he said, any time a Vaishnava is asked a question, he should never say, I think, I feel, I believe, maybe, in my opinion, he said, he will never say this. Immediately, the Vaishnava will quote from Shastra. This is the meaning of Shastra Chakshushaha. They are always seeing through the eyes of Shastra. Of course, we know there are exceptions, and we all know those devotees who love to hang on to the exception. I don't need to follow rules. I'm following the exception. This is not Shastra Chakshusha. This is nonsense. This is Sahajya and this is sentimentality. Oh, Ramananda Roy did it, so I can do it. Nityananda Prabhu did it, so I can do it. No, it's not like that. What is my Guru Dev doing? How is my Guru Parampara? We should follow what instructions they give us. If we want to imitate Krishna, oh, Krishna did it, so I'm going to do it. This will only bring us to hell. No, all Shastras are telling the same thing. Only imitation, this is not good. What Guru has instructed us to do, we should follow that. We should see through the eyes of Scripture, and then we will be on the safe path. Of course, we should understand there are exceptions to almost every rule, but that is not what I should see for myself. Oh yeah, I am the exception to the rule. Then what happens to us? We end up doing all sorts of nonsense activities and all we, do, all we will do is bring disrepute to our Gurudev. But our Srila Prabhupada said the duty of the disciple is to act and behave in such a way that no fault, no criticism will come to one's Guru. And sometimes devotees say, how can anything I do affect my Guru? He is transcendental and pure. When the four Kumaras came to the gate of Vaikuntha, at that time, Jayam Vijay stopped them. You're not qualified to enter Vaikuntha. Look at you. You're only five years old. On top of that, you're naked. How can you enter into Vaikuntha? These four Kumaras said, who are you to treat us like this? How is it possible that you have attained the status of being in Vaikuntha with this kind of mindset? There was so much confusion there. Narayan came out smiling. And he said, to the four Kumaras, I am sorry for the way that my servants have mistreated you. Because they are my servants, they are my responsibility. Therefore, I take their fault on my head. I accept personal responsibility. And then he spoke. He said, just as a spot of leprosy on the body affects the entire body in such a way, if there is any fault, it comes on me. So he spoke this first and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took it. He said the same thing regarding 
Chota Haridas. If any black spot comes on a white sheet, no one will see the white sheet. They will only see that black spot. So we should try to be in such a way that no spot comes on our character because people will look at us and then they will judge our Gurudev, they will judge our Guru Parampara, they will judge Krishna, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because of us. So our behavior is very, very important. How we act, how we behave. To be in the association of Guru and Vaishnavas means that we should always have this mood. My Gurudev is sitting next to me. He is watching me. Of course he's watching us. He's Paramatma inside of our heart. And he steps outside, but he's still inside. He sees everything. He is the eternal universal witness. He knows everything. It is only us who pretend, like ostrich is putting our head in the sand. He can't see me. He can't see me. We put our heads in the sand, but of course he sees. So many times people you see, they turn the picture of Gurudev around. Oh, he cannot see me. <laughs> they close Takuji's curtains. They close the curtains and then we do nonsense. Turn on the telly. <laughs> they can't see me. They cannot see. Guru and Krishna, they know everything. Paramatma sees everything. The Vaishnavas also, one glance, they can see everything. Even someone who is chanting 64 rounds a day, they can look at anyone and they can see like an open book. If anyone has ever chanted a lakh a day for more than two weeks, they will know. Someone walks in the room and it, you can see everything, like an open book. All of their suffering, all of their darkness, all the desires, the flaws, the everything, what they're doing, what they're not doing. You can see it just like that. What to speak of those persons who are transcendental, who are eternal associates of Krishna. They know everything. Gurudev said, don't think Guru doesn't know. Don't think he's not aware of our material activities in this world. Don't think he doesn't know and see these things. We should be like an open book in front of Gurudev and reveal our flaws in front of the, the pure Vaishnavas. Oh, please see my condition. I have all of these flaws, like the devotees would do in front of Srila Gorgovinda Maharaj. You want to tell it? When the devotees would speak to Srila Gorgovinda Maharaj, especially wasn't, when he wasn't on the Vyasa son, we're told that he was very quiet, quite meek. And they would tell him all of their sickness of their heart. And one devotee once went to him and said, oh, I'm attracted to pornography. I have this sickness in my heart and I can't be rid of it. And he was pacifying them. And then the next morning on the Vyasasan, he started yelling at this person, oh, attracted to naked pictures. <laughs> and he was screaming at them, taking his cane, hitting at them, ripping that thing out of their heart like an open book and they wanted it. How many of us are that kind of disciple that can be publicly exposed? Doesn't matter, I'm not this body and this ego. I'm sitting in front of my guru and he can wipe these anarthas away from me. Hmm. Who can do that? Someone who is really trying to be a disciple. Otherwise we pretend, oh Gurudev, look at me, I'm perfect. <clears throat> All the Vaishnavas shouldn't see my fault. They should see that I'm perfect. I'm following everything. When I come in front of them, I start shaking my mala bag. I've been <laughs> chanting all day. You don't even know. Making my tilak a little bit off so it looks like it's been on for like hours and hours. <laughs> we have our tricks. We know how to play this game. Don't we? We don't want anyone to see us. Why? Because we actually want everyone to think that we are perfect. We've got this down. We don't want anyone to criticize us, but how will we learn if we do not expose ourselves, if we do not allow ourselves to be seen as we are? We can be actually exposed in front of Sri Guru. That is the safe place to be exposed because with him ripping out our anarthas, which are painful and which we're holding on to like a tug of war. No, Gurudev, I meant tomorrow. Take it tomorrow. I want to keep it for today. What do you do? I, I was on a roll. Sorry. Ripping tug of war. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, is that... Yeah, we should be open-hearted in front of Sri Guru so that he can rip these weeds out of our heart. Otherwise, we will only be pretenders. And pretenders, we don't get too far. 
Gurudev once said, if you're standing on a mountain of pride and that rain cloud comes, that shower of nectar, what is that? Sri Guru manifests and he gives you Krishna. He gives Hari Kata and Hari Kirtan. He said, if you're standing on a mountain of pride saying, I'm so close to Guru, I'm so close to God, that rain shower falls down, but it goes down to the lowest place. It doesn't stay at the top of a mountain. Water rushes down, nectar rushes down to like a deep valley. And those who will bow their heads, get on their hands and knees and bow their head to drink, that person can take the mercy of Guru and Vaishnavas. So we must be exposed. It's okay if devotees criticize us. That's another way of learning how to be humble because really, truly, we can all be somewhat humble in front of our guru, can't we? <laughs> if guru were to slap us, oh, my guru, they've slapped me. The mercy of guru in my life. If a god brother or god sister slapped us, I'm taking you to court. <laughs> That's it. I want you put in jail. We have all kinds of anger. We never look at ourselves. So it's amongst Vaishnavas where we learn humility, where we expose ourselves. Like he said, knocking on the door. Do you have tilak on? What are you doing in your private time? Come out and chant. Come do kirtan. It may not be so happy for us because we want to do our own private thing, whatever that might be. But when devotees come in front of us, it's like a mirror. This is what I'm not doing, or this is what I should be doing. But we should expose ourselves. I know I've told this before, but... Kishori Mohan Prabhu wanted me to speak it again. I just spoke it the other night as well. But once my Guru Maharaj, he gave me Sri Sri Radha Vinod Bihariji. He did Pram Pratishta of them. And about one year later, I had Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made. By the time he was finished in Vrindavan, Gurudev was in Fiji, and we also went to the Fiji Islands. So there, one morning after a darshan, I said, Srila Gurudev, will you do Pran Pratishta of my Mahaprabhu? Pran Pratishta means he breathes life into this deity form. He chants mantras and installs them. So Gurudev looked at me and he said, what will you give me? And I said, oh, you know, I don't have anything. I have two suitcases left. That's it. Gurudev wasn't impressed. He started talking to other Vaishnavas. And then a few minutes later, I said, Srila Gurudev, will you do Pran Pratishta of my Mahaprabhu? He said, what will you give me? Will you give me Kishori Mohan Prabhu? I started, oh, I don't. He said, I will give him sannyas. Would you like that? And I said, oh, I will always try to like everything you do, Gurudev. And he wasn't impressed. And so we talked to other Vaishnavas. After a few minutes, he got up to go back to his room. And at that time, we were standing next to each other. And I said, Srila Gurudev, will you do Pran Pratishta of my Mahaprabhu? Gurudev spun around and he said, do you want Prabhu or Mahaprabhu? And I started shaking. I was so afraid. I felt myself turn red in sweat. Do you want Prabhu or Mahaprabhu? And I said very quietly, Mahaprabhu. <laughs> and then he said again louder, do you want Prabhu or Mahaprabhu? I said, Mahaprabhu. And Gurudev smiled and said, thank you very much. And he walked into his room. I thought, oh my God, I just gave away Prabhu. <laughs> now what will happen? What will happen to me? I became so afraid, actually. So afraid to receive Mahaprabhu. Hmm. Gurudev once said, why is bhakti so rare? And he said, because we really don't want it. And I never actually believed that until I was confronted. Do you want Krishna or do you want this? Do you want this bag of blood and pus and stool and urine and bone and marrow and false ego intelligence? Do you want this? <laughs> Do you
Do you want, because I'm not in love with his atma. I don't know the atma. I know what I think is my husband, but it's just a body. Do you want that? Or do you want Krishna? Do you want Mahaprabhu? Inside, I was saying, I want Prabhu. And I want my lipstick and my saris and everything else material that I at least still can hold on to. And I want Mahaprabhu and Bhakti Bhav and Prem. <laughs> I didn't want to sacrifice anything, especially Prabhu. <laughs> and what did Gurudev do? He said, okay. He gave me Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to worship. And he sent me traveling and preaching with Prabhu so that we travel and we remember Guru and Krishna everywhere. But the point is, is that really, why is Bhakti so rare? Because we don't want it. And the fact is, is by doing sadhana, by worshipping Mahaprabhu, by worshipping Hari Kirtan, Hari Katha, Mahaprasadam, by doing that kind of sadhana with a goal, this will slowly turn our eyes away from the matter of this world and make us more attached to Guru and Krishna in the process of bhakti. So following sadhana is very, very important. If we don't do sadhana, if we just sit back and think, oh, Krishna will give me mercy anyway, we won't make progress. Mm. We will not make progress. Sadhan means that I'm turning my eyes, even if it's for a half an hour a day, I'm turning my eyes toward Krishna and I'm not looking anywhere else and I'm begging for his mercy. And then the rest of the day, I have to do whatever dharma in this world. But by doing this regular sadhana and increasing more and more and more, then that will become our real life. And this external world of maya, of matter, will become like a shadow to us. But we must follow. We must follow. We must take the association of those who want our real welfare. And that is Sri Guru and those Vaishnavas who are pushing us on the path of bhakti. Anyone else who is pulling me away, then Haribo. <laughs> Slowly, not immediately. It doesn't mean we go home tonight and call everybody, I'm done with you. <laughs> It means that, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Raghunath Das Goswami, go back home, be in the world, live in your even married situation, serve your family, do your duty in the world. Inside, you should carry this burning mood to love Krishna, but don't expose it to everyone. They won't understand. And slowly, slowly, as that fire begins to become a raging forest fire, your house will burn down automatically. <laughs> Everything will be gone and you can run on the path of bhakti. There will be no obstacle. We don't artificially do anything on this path of bhakti. So slowly, slowly keep a mood in our heart. Someone doesn't want to say, oh yes, okay, yeah, yeah okay, Haribo, and follow the process. We don't have to fight with everyone. We don't have to block everyone. We don't have to push everyone away from us. But inside, we carry that burning desire to follow the words and the instructions of our Gurudev. That is our treasure, our beauty. The only asset that we carry within this world is the mercy of our Gurudev, the instructions of our Gurudev. Everything else is a distraction. So we don't let it distract us. We let them think everything is good. Yeah, okay, I won't follow Ikadasi. Good on you. Have a nice day. Follow Ikadasi. <laughs> Do your dharma. Your sanatan dharma. Mm. Is that okay? <laughs> question? Bajo Hure Mana. What page is it? <clears throat> Thank you. Bajo Hure Mana. 
ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದರೆ ಭೂರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದರೆ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ರೇ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ರೇ ದುರ್ಲಭ ಮಾನವ ಜನಮ ಸತ್ ಸಂಗೆ ಕಾರ ಹೋ ಭವ ಸಿಂಧೂರೆ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ರೇ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ರೇ ಸೀತೋಯಾತ ಬಾತ ಬರಿಶನು ಏ ದಿನ ಜಾಮಿನಿ ಜಾಗಿರೆ ಸೀತಾಯಾತ ಬರಿಶನ ಏ ದಿನ ಜಾಮಿ ಜಾಗಿರೆ ವಿಫಲ ಸೆ ವಿನು ಕೃಪನ ದುರ ಜನ ಚಪಲ ಸುಖ ಲಭಲಾಗಿರೆ ಚಪಲ ಸುಖ ಲಭಲಾಗಿರೆ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ರೇ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಧನ ಜೋವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಪರಿಜನ ಇತ್ತೆ ಕಿಯಾಚೆ ಪರೋತಿ ತೀರೆ ಧನ ಜೋವನ ಪುತ್ರ ಪರಿಜನ ಇತ್ತೆ ಕಿಯಾಚೆ ಪರೋತಿ ತೀರೆ ಕಮಲ ದಲ್ಲ ಜಲ ಜೀವನ ತಲ ಮಲ ಕಮಲ ದಲ್ಲ ಜಲ ಜೀವನ ತಲ ಮಲ ಭಜಹು ಹರಿ ಪದ ನೀತಿರೆ ಭಜಹು ಹರಿ ಪದ ನೀತಿರೆ ಭಜಹು ರೇ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ಭಜಹುರೆ ಮನ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ಅಭಯ ಚರಣಾರೋವಿಂದ ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಬಂದನ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ದಾಸ ರೇ ಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನ ಸ್ಮರಣ ಬಂದನ ಪಾದ ಸೇವನ ದಾಸ ರೇ ಪೂಜನ ಸಖಿ ಜನ ಆತ್ಮ ನಿವೇದನ ಪೂಜನ ಸಖಿ ಜನ 
गोविंद दास भीलाश्वरे गोविंद दास भीलाश्वरे भज हुरे मन श्री नंद नंदन अभय चरे नारो जय जय माधव बताई थी The one point I was trying to remember, it was something Shri Lagrudev said. Just apply it to what we were speaking. He said that just thinking and saying that I'm a disciple, he said this will not be pleasing to Gurudev, and you will not make progress. He said, but if you are a sadak, he said this will be pleasing to Gurudev, and this by this you will reach your goal. It means that coming under the shelter of Guru and just saying, "I have a Guru, I'm a disciple." This, wh what will you get from that? Gurudev said, "Having a high-class Guru is not enough. We will have to follow." So he said, "Being a sadak, this is more important. Following the process." Okay, that's. I just wanted to add that. राधे जय जय माधव जय ते राधे जय जय माधव दई ते राधे जय जय माधव दई ते राधे जय जय माधव दई ते राधे तारुणी मुंडन महीते गोकुलुणी मंदल महीते गोकुल तारुणी मुंडन महीते गोकुल तारुणी मंदल महीते 
राधे जय जय माधव दही राधे जय जय माधव दही दामोदर राति वरधन वेशे दामोदर राति हरि निष्कुत वृंदा विपिने से हरि निष्कुत वृंदा विपिने से राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते भानुदी नव शशिले खे भानुदी नव शशिले खे ललिता सखी गुण रमित विषा थे ललिता सखी गुण रमित राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव करुणाम पूर्म करुणा भरी थे करुणा पूर्मय करुणा भरी थे सनक सनातन वरणी तछली थे सनक सनातन वरणी तछली थे राधे जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मथी थे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मई राधे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मथे थे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मई थे राधे जय राधे जय राधे जय राधे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मथी थे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मई राधे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मथे राधे गोकुल तारुणी मंदल मई थे राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे जय जय राधे जय जय माधव दयते राधे राधे गोविंद गोविंद राधे 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 बोलो राधे राधे गोविंद गोविंद राधे 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 गोविंद गोविंद राधे 
राधे राधे राधे गोविंद गोविंद 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 राधे बोलो राधे राधे गोविंद गोविंद राधे 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 गोविंद गोविंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 
हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. जय गुरुदेव 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 जय गुरुदेव जय प्रभु पाल प्रभु पाल प्रभु पाद जय प्रभु गौर हरि बोल 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 गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल ताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि सो बिफोर द लास्ट कीर्तन विच विल बी संग बाय कृष्ण कृपा प्रभु आर देर एनी फर्दर क्वेश्चन वी प्रॉमिस आर आंसर विल बी शॉर्ट Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा Krishna Hare Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Krishna 
Hare 
Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Ram, Hare, Ram, 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 Hare, 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 Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Ram, Hare, Ram, 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 Hare, Hare, Krishna, Hare, Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Ram, Hare, Ram, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare. Prashad, we would just like to thank Ashok Prabhu very much for bringing us here and for all of you to come and to join us tonight in Kirtan. As he started 17 years ago, our Srila Guru De Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, he told us to travel the world and inspire on his behalf. And so since that time, we have been trying to, to follow that order. But without you welcoming us, bringing us, coming to the, the program, we wouldn't be able to do that seva. So we offer our most heartfelt dandava pranam to all of you who have come, who have arranged it, that we can continue. So, vansha kalpata kripa sindhuve evacha patitanam pavanibhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namo. And please continue encouraging us in this seva and please invite us back again. Thank you. So we'll do a quick RT. Yeah. yeah.
बोलो निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग बोलो जय सची नंदन जय सची नंदन बोलो जय सची नंदन जय सची नंदन जय सची नंदन गौर हरि ओ गौर 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 हरि बोलो जय सची नंदन गौर हरि बोलो निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग बोलो निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग बोलो निताय 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 गौरंग ओ निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग ओ निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग ओ बोलो निताय गौरंग जय निताय गौरंग गौर हरि बोल बोल गौर हरि बोल अ गौर हरि बोल गौर हरि बोल अ गौर हरि बोल गौर हरि बोल जय जय गौरा चांदे आरती कशो भा ओ जानो भी तो तो बानी जगमन लो भा जग जने मन लो भा गोरा गेरा रति शोभा जग जने मन लो भा गौरा गेरा रति शोभा जग जने मन लो भा गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल दखीन नीताय चांद कमे गदाधारो दखीन नीताय चांद निकते अदे तो श्रीनिवास छत्र धारो निकते अदे तो श्रीनिवास छत्र धारोशी आछे गोरा छान रत्न सिंह सने बसी आछे गोरा चार रत्न सी मसाने आरोती को रे ब्रह्मा आदि देव गे आरोती को रे ब्रह्मा आदि देव गे बनारो हरि आदि को रि चामोर दुलायो नारो हरि आदि को गि चमर दुलाया संजया मुकुंद बासु 
कोशयादि गायो संजाया मुकुंद वासु कोशयादि गाया देव शंख बाजे घंत बाजे बाजे करो तालो शंख बाजे घंत बाजे बाजे करता वाला मधुर मृदंग बाजे परम रसालो मधुर मृदंग बाजे परम रसाला मधुर 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 बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे शंख बाजे घंत बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे शंख बाजे घंत बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे शंख बाजे घंत बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे शंख बाजे मधुर 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 बाजे बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि अनिताय गौर हरि बोल 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 बहु कोटि चंद्र जी ने वदन उज्वल बहु कोटि चंद्र जी ने वदन उज्वल गल देश वन माल कोरे जल माल गल देश वन माल कोरे जल माल शिव सुख नारद प्रेम गद गद शिव सुख नारद प्रेम गद गद भक्ति विनोद देखे गोरा र संपद हो भक्ति विनोद देखे गोरा र संपद जय जय राध कृष्ण जुगल मिला जय जय राधा कृष्ण जुगल मिला जय जय राधा कृष्ण जुगल मिला जय जय राधा कृष्ण जुगल मिला आरती को रोए ललिता दी सखी गो आरती को रोए ललिता दी सखी गो मदन मोहन रूप त्रिभंग सुंदर मोहन रूप त्रिभंग सुंदर राधा विनोद बिहारी रूप त्रिभंग सुंदर बिहारी रूप त्रिभंग सुंदर पीताम्बर सिकी पूछ चूत मनोहर पीताम्बर सिकी पूछ चूर मनोहर ललिता माधवबा में वृष भानु कन्या ललिता माधवबा में वृष भानु कन्या सुनील वसन गौरी रूपे गुने धन्या सुनील वसन गौरी रूपे गुण धन्या नाना विधय अलंकार को रे झलामा नाना विधय अलंकार हरि मनो विमोहन वदन उज्वल हरि मनो विमोहन वदन उज्वल गणो नाना रागेगा विशाखा जी सखी गण नाना रागेगा विशाखा जी सखी गणो नाना रागेगा विशाखा जी सखी गण नाना रागेगा प्रिया नरमो सखी जो चमर चमर दुलामर दुलाए रे चमर दुलाए गे चमर दुलाए रे अप्रिय नर्म सखी जत चमर दुलाए रे नर्म सखी जत चमर दुलाए गे जय राधे श्री राधे बोले चमर दुलाए रे जय राधे श्री राधे बोले चमर दुलाए गे जय राधे श्री राधे बोले चमर दुलाए रे जय राधे श्री राधे बोले चमर दुलाए जय राधे जय जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय राधे जय कृष्ण जय राधे जय कृष्ण प्रिय नर्म सखी जत चमर दुला प्रिय नर्म सखी जत चमर दुला श्री राधा माधव पद 
राधे राधे गोविंद जय जय राधे राधे गोविंद जय जय राधे राधे गोविंद जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद 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 जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय राधा रमन हरि गोविंद जय जय कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे राम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे हे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओ हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण बोलो हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे निताय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल निताय गौर हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि बोल हरि निताय गौर हरि बोल हरि हरिबोल 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 अनिता गौर हरिबोल 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 हरिब 
जय श्री श्री गुरु गौरांग गंधर्भिका गिरिहारी श्री श्री राधा बनु बिहरी राधा गोविंद राधा श्याम सुंदर राधा रमन राधा गोपीनाथ जो की जय नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर सतशी हिमाचल भक्ति ग्रंथ नारायण गोसाई महाराज गुरुदेव की जय नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर सतशी हिमाचल गोविंद गोसाई महाराज की जय नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर सतशी हिमाचल भक्ति ग्रंथ स्वामी प्रभु पाद की जय नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर सतशी हिमाचल भक्ति प्रज्ञान के शिव गोसाई महाराज की जय नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट ओम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर सतशी हिमाचल शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर प्रभु पाद की जय सब परिकर शिल प्रभु पाद की जय महाभागवत शिल गो किशोर दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय सच्चिदानंद शिल भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जय वैष्णव सब भम श्री जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जय गुरु विरांताचार्य शबरे विद्याभूषण प्रभु की जय शिल विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर की जय श्री नरोत्तम श्रीनिवास श्यामानंद प्रभु त्रय की जय शिल कृष्ण राज कविराज गोस्वामी की जय श्रीपानुग गौरी गुरु वर्ग की जय श्री रूप सनातन भत रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भतरास रघुनाथ छठ गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय श्री श्री रूप रमन नारायण रमन दारी श्री गुर पार्षद वृंद की जय नामाचार्य हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदार हर्ष वास हरि गौर भक्त वृंद की जय श्री नवदी मयपुर धाम की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपी गोगवर्धन वर्षवनात्मक श्री ब्रज मंडल की जय श्री श्याम कुंद राधा कुंद गंग जुमन भक्ति तुलसी देवी की जय हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जय अनंत कोति वैष्णव वृंद की जय समागत गौर भक्त वृंद की जय निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि वो Oh, just a little. Yeah.